Hey guys, so I thought I'd go ahead and share more pictures with you uh, of what I saw. Um, so starting off with that goat beast, um, this is the one that punched me and I vividly remember um, this is what he looked like. His eyes specifically looked like that. His eyes were pretty close and um, he was about six to eight feet tall. Um, the nurse that I usually had, this was the nurse that commented that my feet looked weird, that humans had weird feet, and he was about, um, five, he was about five, six, and, um, he had human and alien features, so I figure he's a human and alien hybrid. Um, for the reptilians on the moon, um, the reptilians on the moon are interesting. Their skin is actually a similar hue to the moon like they kind of blend in with the moon in a way because they have like a grayish color and they have like um they have kind of these they kind of look like pimples but it's part of their scales or their skin or something but yeah they're like raised dots on their face and um they have very uh bright blue eyes so those are the moon reptilians and they're about five foot ten and then they have these guns and um the other, some of the guns are bigger, but, um, this is the main gun that I had seen them use, um, and it has, like, a red laser and, um, something like that. Because on the ship, they use these two and would use them as a weapon or something. So, um, I had some people really, uh, interested in the, um, reptilian bloodbath capsule. They wanted to know more about it, so, um... To show you about it, yeah, it, it had lights inside of it. Um, there was an electrical panel and controls, and um, it functions as a bath and a shower. So, um, like, you could see, like, here's the drain, and then the blood fills up in here, and it goes, the blood goes up to their neck. Um, that's how high it will fill up. And then um, the jets, they, these release the blood for the bath, part or if you want to take a shower um it comes out as a it's, it functions as a shower or a bath and it's in a capsule and the buttons are on the side okay so um another thing was the moon the craters that the moon reptilians made um the crater was about five foot deep and after they used the gun um smoke is coming out so there was tons of smoke and um Pretty much they just look like a basic moon crater, like, kind of like, there were a bunch of them on the moon, like, it just is like a crater shape. Uh, this is my best description of that brown reptilian. This is who mostly did, you know, whatever to hurt me and rape me and, like, do a lot to me on the ship. And, um, yeah, he had, like, black and brown scales, like, it was black and brown scales, skin-like, and his eyes were black, like, completely black. That's what he looked like, and, um, these are the unknown beings that gave me surgery, and, um, that's a mask. They had masks on their face, and, um, they had, like, bug-like features, like, their eyes looked like bugs, and they had kind of, like, antennas, and there were about three of them, and I remember them taking, you know, when you're getting a surgery and they have that light above you, they were pulling that light down, and then I just remember going to sleep right away but it was three of them so it was three three of them or whatever um this here is the front area of the ship where you the driving area like and um so here's where you stand you stand right here and then these are all the control panels and like there's I think there there was no seats you actually just stand so there's no seat and then out the window you could see all the stars and see space and stuff um this is the guy who implanted me who put the implants in me and put the implants in my brain and did many of these tests on me and stuff and um he had a very crazed look like he had one eye that was like larger and his tongue was like out he just looked really crazed and scary um this is the place that i was taken um, so this is where I would be is put in this room and, um, I would be always laying down and something would be attached to my head, uh, with wires and they had some kind of like computers and control panels and things that they would work with. And they would also electrocute me, like electrocute my brain and torture me with it. Um, if I didn't do what was right on whatever, like 
thing they put me through or whatever, whatever stimulation these were um so i basically would have my eyes closed and it would be like you're asleep and it's kind of like a dream but it's real you can feel everything that happens and that's the difference of it like you can feel what's being done and whatever stimulation they're putting you through so those are the control panels and then the room was dark always and then i do remember there being the screen which showed Everything that was being done that I was going through the stimulation, that way he could see what I was doing in the stimulation. Like, it would go through on this screen, and I remember being able to see this screen, and that's young Pharaoh. And then there's, like, a tree. Like, I could see young Pharaoh on the screen, I remember. And, um, yeah, so that was how they, like, did tests on me and stuff, so, yeah, so I just wanted to go ahead and share this, and, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you for your comments and subscriptions.